Research complete. Friends, my name is Pradeep Kumar. Let's start a new tutorial about the SQL programming. Okay, uh, this four point we already covered. Now let's come on the fifth that is SQL select. Okay, uh, this topic I also covered in this tutorial, but right now I will tell you again about the SQL select. Okay, now let's come on. First, let's see. Uh, yes. Okay, I already uh, create a PPT. Okay, or a document like this. Okay. Now uh, this is our SQL select. How we can uh, how uh, we can use this SQL select? Okay. Now open your SQL server. Okay. Now let's start to uh, create a programming. And you see, they have data one and data two. We uh, already covered in tutorial one, two, three, four. Okay. That's why I go to playlist and visit this tutorial about. Okay. Now, okay. Now let's start. I'm um, here. Select property, or we can select programming. Select now. You need to enter like which type of like which table you need to select. Okay. Now enter select. Okay. And I'm enter star. Okay. Uh, and from from means means which table you uh, want to collect data like i am entering data one data one you see this is data one okay you see here data one okay and select and this is the property of select means you need to select like which uh, type of column you need to select everything okay and the star means every row and every columns okay this uh, topic we already covered in the tutorial one two three four okay but right now i am again tell you about this thing now click to execute and you see uh, data one or okay and table data one everything is show here every row and every columns okay like if you want to display only a name data then how you can do this uh, enter name and you see name data okay and click to execute and you see only name you display okay again like if you uh, need to uh, show like a date also comma and enter date data like this okay and click to execute and you see okay. help of select you can easy to define or you can easy to see any column as per requirement okay if you need to every row and column then you need to enter star yes click to execute and you see this topic uh, right now this topic covered now let's come on the next one that is uh, six that is select distinct okay what do you mean of this it's mean like if you have a like in your row have a two same name or two, two same name data okay and you need to uh, you need to only a one if like if they have a uh, like duplicate a two or more data then you need to filter or you need only a one data okay same uh, name like how we can do this like first we need uh, search they have a two data like you see they have pardeep for the one two three okay have a three data okay when i filter or i uh, i want to only a one single uh, uh, name okay because they have a three duplicate here okay now how we can do this okay enter select distinct d a s t i n c t okay distinct now enter name data name data like this and click to execute and you see uh, you see uh, Pradeep is a one time here like this okay okay help of this you can easy to filter as per your comment okay otherwise like if I uh, remove this one okay and click to execute and you see right now have a 10 Pradeep uh, 1 2 3 okay if you are using uh, this uh, parameter DSTINCT okay and click to execute and you see only a uh, one name that is Pradeep okay everything's here like uh, like let's check they have a uh, other uh, data okay let's check click execute now let's come on the next one uh, six also we covered right now select distinct okay uh, i think you know about this uh, parameter okay now let's come uh, next one that is how to count row okay if you need to uh, like if you need to count how many rows in my table then how you can do this okay now let's come and let's check it right now i am enter here c o c o u n t count bracket and you need to enter any uh, like any column name okay i am enter here like a star okay let's see it's working or not star means every row and columns now click to execute and you see you have 10 rows okay okay if you don't know about uh, like the, uh, have a 10 or not then what do you do let's click to execute and you see right now have a 10 row 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay now what do you do enter parameters you want to count sorry 
count bracket start and bracket close sorry yes now click to execute and you see uh, you have 10 row okay you can change the name also like you see they have no column name now, uh, now what do you do click to as and i am in here total row total row like this okay or otherwise you can only enter a total total data and click to execute and you see right now the column name is total data okay this topic also covered that is seventh number now let's come on the uh, uh, another one that is sql where okay it's very important this is a condition where is used for the condition equal or less than greater than as per recommend you can do this okay this topic we are covered in the next tutorial okay because in this have there have lots of point like equal less than greater than okay lots of function in here okay that's why we are covered in next uh, video okay guys and please do practice if you like this uh, tutorial like please like and subscribe our channel thank you so much guys